Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your mid-month musical messages edition for the Twin Flame Soul Connections out there. So please keep in mind, this cannot be everyone's reading. If it is yours, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And if it's not, you can always check my channel for other messages you need to hear. Just remember to take what applies and let the rest fly as time, energy, and gender are fluid. Reverse roles however they apply to your story. And please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings so to my lovely subscribers thank you so much for your love and support of the channel I love you guys thank you for your donations for your um, purchasing of private readings which have been a blast um, and if you are wanting a personal reading all of that information is down below in the description box for you new subscribers out there definitely check the box below that way you can also connect with me outside of YouTube my social media links payment apps and everything you'll need is down there and for those of you who are spicy subscriber members then please stay tuned to the end of this reading for an additional intimate extended bonus reading and if you are not a member yet you can always join that link is down below for those of you who like it saucy so before we get into the reading just a quick reminder you guys the twin flame journey is about you and your own spiritual journey okay coming into a place of neutrality and peace within yourself coming into union within yourself and remembering that the physical or the external is simply an illusion, okay? The concept of separation is an illusion because you cannot be separate from that which you are and you are your twin flame, okay? So just keep those things in mind. Everyone's journey is unique. Everyone's story is different. So the roles can swap basically as many times necessary for both twins to learn their lessons and complete their karmic cycles. But if you're watching this reading for your person to see what's going on with them, how the energy is gonna play out over the next couple of weeks, this reading could be for you. And if you are watching for your own inner masculine energy, then this could also be for you. So just like I said, take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Never force the reading to fit. And remember that this is energy that we're talking about. It is not a physical confirmation that your person is going to do this, this, and that, right? Everyone has free will. This is just the energy which can change, all right? So what is the energy right now? Well, the first two cards that came out in my pre-shuffle were Please Forgive Me by Brian Adams. And the lyrics are, so if you're feeling lonely, don't. You're the only one I'll ever want. I only want to make it good, so if I love you a little more than I should, please forgive me. And the chorus goes on to say, please forgive me, I know not what I do. Please forgive me, I can't stop loving you. Don't deny me the pain I'm going through. Please forgive me, I can't stop loving you, right? And maybe I might have mixed up the lyrics a little bit, but feel free to hit up Google if you need to. Um, the energy of this song was actually confirmed by the following card, which says, all I want is to reunite with you. I'm trying to figure out how to make that happen. So in the lyrics, it says, please forgive me. I know not what I do. So this masculine energy is basically saying that they know they left the feminine lost and, and high and dry. They know that they hurt the feminine, that the feminine is feeling lonely, broken, sad, okay? Whether or not you really feel like that is different. This is the masculine's perspective. They know that they left the feminine high and dry. They know they got themselves deeply tucked into the bed that they made for themselves, okay? And now they're trying to figure out a way to wiggle their way out of those sheets that are pulled all the way up to their chin um, and try to reunite with the feminine, okay? So for a lot of you in the physical, your masculines have been really in deep with these karmic partnerships, okay? And, and again, everyone's situation is very different. Um, but I'm curious to see how the energy is playing out for you guys under this full moon, the, the lunar eclipse, Mercury retrograde. Um, so again, definitely put your stories in the comments or send me an email, send me a DM if you want to chat about it. Um, I don't know if any of you actually were outside during the lunar eclipse, but I was, and it was very thick, very eerie. Um, 
And you know, it was kind of weird too because usually, you know, at nighttime you can hear like bugs and crickets and, and things. It was dead silent. Like <laughs> it was, it, it almost felt like a vacuum and it was very humid and just thick outside. Um, I got some blurry pictures if y'all want to check my Instagram. <laughs> And if you guys have good pictures of it, definitely send them along. I would love to see. But y'all know what I'm getting at, right? There's a lot of exposure happening underneath this energy. And that's exactly what's being unveiled. These DMs are really deep in the thick of it, okay? And perhaps this is the smack in the face type of a moment under this energy that the masculines need to truly recognize just how deep they're in okay so i'm gonna move into the reading and i'm gonna put these cards back into the deck i'm actually gonna go ahead and um continue to pull uh from the top of this deck okay so the first three cards here are here without you Okay, here without you, baby, but you're still on my lonely mind. I think about you, baby, and I dream about you all the time. That's by three doors down. So obviously the masculine is thinking about the feminine, right? Maybe they're with a karmic partner, but they feel alone. Um, we also have lose you to love me. So this could be a feminine perspective, right? This could be something that y'all feminines are starting to recognize about your journey with this person. We'd always go into it blindly. I needed to love you, lose you, excuse me, to find me. This dance, it was killing me softly. I needed to hate you to love me. And that's by Selena Gomez. So some of you might be feeling that, like that you needed to actually lose this person whether it was to someone else or something else, for you to realize how the relationship was actually draining you or the connection was draining you. This could be the message that you needed, okay, for you to be able to move things forward for yourself, to truly love yourself and go after what it is that you really want in life, okay? Then we also have working my way back to you, which I think came up in a previous musical messages reading recently. But when you were so in love with me, I played around like I was free, thought I could have my cake and eat it too, but how I cried over losing you. See me down and out, but I ain't about to go living my life without you by the spinners. So, you know, there's a, an element too of like that previous card that popped up. They want to reunite and they're trying to figure out a way to work their way back into your life, feminine. So my advice for those of you who are feeling that sort of energy, um, focus on you, right? And I know I say that a lot, but really truly focus on you, okay? Focus on your path forward. That whole reading I did yesterday about the rising of the phoenix for a new beginning, that reading is very relevant right now, okay? It's time to blow away the ashes of the past, whatever that means for you, and finally forge your own path, blaze a new path, if you will. So very interesting energy to start out with. I'm just gonna start right with the tarot, okay? And I'm gonna go right into the friends tarot and see what is going on with this divine masculine energy. What is happening consciously? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's Chandler in the bunny suit as the Page of Swords. You know, this card makes me laugh because if you've ever seen this episode where they all dress up in these crazy costumes, um, it was a very like frustrating sort of an energy, okay? Because Chandler is in this bunny suit and, you know, he wants to appear masculine. He wants to appear in control, but he, he can't, right? So there's almost, this bunny suit is almost like the mask of the masculine. They look pretty fucking foolish right now and they're aware of it, okay? This masculine knows that the only real option they have right now is to watch and wait and observe, okay? This is someone who really wants to communicate, but won't. Okay, there's a lot of fear here besides bes behind the page of swords. It's the fear of, of being vulnerable, of speaking their truth, of being made to look like a fool. So instead of taking action, instead of speaking what they really want to say, they end up hiding in a bunny suit. 
all right? So that's what's happening consciously for the masculine right now. What's happening under the surface in their heart space? I'm telling y'all, Mercury retrograde is coming for my ass. So <clears throat> if I keep clearing my throat or stumbling on my words, I do apologize. What do we need to see for the masculine's heart space at this time? Okay, so yeah, look at that. The Seven of Swords in the reverse. So the masculine knows in their heart as well. They feel like they feel like they've been dishonest with themselves. They feel like they've had to hide who they truly are and what they really want. Okay, Monica working at the cafe with the roller skates and the fake boob inserts. This was something that Monica really didn't want to do. Okay, she was embarrassed. She literally was mortified any time one of her friends would come into the restaurant and put a quarter into the jukebox. So this masculine is starting to really feel the energy setting on top of them, knowing that they deceived the feminine, knowing that they left her in the dark, knowing that they hid themselves and who they truly are from the one person who they know in their heart would understand. So this card coming up in the reverse, it's almost like the masculine is feeling the need to expose themselves. They feel the need to expose that their heart is beating for you, feminine. It always has been. They tried to pretend like it wasn't. And it ended up putting this masculine in a position that makes them look incredibly foolish. All right. So let's talk a little bit more about how the masculine is viewing the feminine at this time. How is the masculine viewing the feminine at this time? The king of pentacles. Interesting. So the masculine sees the feminine as standing up in her own masculine energy, very concerned with their stability and security. Okay. This is a nurturing masculine energy. So for some of you, you could be single moms having to play both roles, taking control of business and the home, okay? This is basically like the male version of the Queen of Pentacles. So they see you standing up in that masculine energy, taking charge, really, really being in control of everything happening here in your life. You've invested in yourself and they see you ascending, they see you achieving your goals and elevating your life, all right? What is going on behind the scenes for the masculine? The three of cups. Yeah, so again, for those of you who are in a third-party situation, the masculine is really just wanting to reunite, okay? They want to come back together and share this energy of lightheartedness, of trust, okay? Communication. This is the energy of true friendship, Okay, we've got the three gals over here drinking their martinis and enjoying themselves. Three best friends, all right? So this masculine could also be worried that because this situation started out as a third party that you may never trust them again, okay? Um, like I said, there's that energy of like betrayal or, or, you know, leaving someone high and dry even though this masculine might know deep down that they can trust you feminine, they might be very afraid that because of their actions, you'll never be able to trust them. So let's talk about what their likely actions are moving forward. King of Swords. Well, that's a surprise. So for some of you, you could be getting some communication from this masculine. Okay, coming forward and being brutally honest, but with class about how things have been going and what's going on. The King of Swords is like a no-nonsense sort of an energy. This is someone who cuts right to the chase. And they do so from a place of intelligence. This isn't the Knight of Swords, someone who races forward to speak their mind without thinking things through. This is someone who's thought about it for a really long time. The King of Swords is also the energy of someone who is cutting away things that no longer serve them a purpose, right? This is someone very... Um, emotionally detached so your person could be an air sign or they could be exhibiting those qualities moving forward but these are their likely actions 
moving forward. I'm going to try to straighten this out a little bit because you already know it's bothering me. Anything else we need to see about the masculine's intentions when they move things forward? What is the intention of this King of Swords energy? The Ace of Swords. So their intentions are the truth and nothing but the truth. They want clarity. I almost said justice. And typically that's not what the Ace of Swords represents. But in this case scenario, I think it is for some of you. This is that truth and justice for all sort of energy. This is the, the crown coming down on the sword because someone is finally being truthful, being honest. Okay, this is like king and queen sort of energy that they're wanting to communicate to you. So for those of you, like I said, who are experiencing physical situations where your masculine is choosing someone else over you, your masculine's intention is to, to tell you the truth, is to get down to the bottom of things and, and not sugarcoat shit with you. Okay, so again, don't be surprised if your masculine reaches out to you in the next couple of weeks to tell you the truth. All right, let's see what else we have to see here in regards to their true desired outcome. What is the likely outcome here based on this masculine's energy? The Eight of Pentacles. So this is someone truly dedicated. Okay, we have the smell the fart technique written up on the board here for Joey. And as you know, Joey was very persistent in his acting career. He never gave up. This is also the energy of someone studying to um, elevate themselves in their own career. I see this as like a climbing the ladder sort of a card. So your person's desire is to gain financial dependence. See what I'm talking about, y'all? I can't even talk. To gain financial independence as this is the precursor card to the Nine of Pentacles. So this is exactly what we were talking about earlier. The masculines are trying their hardest to figure things out in the physical and get stable so they can move on to the next level, figuring out how to reunite with the feminine. So let's get another card for this, for their ultimate desires or their desired outcome, please. The Two of Swords, yeah, so, you know, this is, has been a place of indecision and feeling at a crossroads here. This is that being stuck between a rock and a hard place energy or, or the ostrich trying to bury their head in the sand thinking that, you know, no one can see their booty, but it's hanging out there, tail feathers and all. So you have this energy of indecision or, or needing to move things forward, not knowing really what route to take, or again, just like wanting to pretend like nothing's happening. And then you have this six of swords coming right after it. So in this, this masculine definitely knows that there's a decision that needs to be made, that they need to figure out their next steps here and that they've been blocking themselves or not communicating with the feminine. And I think it has to do with their level of security. That's always what it comes down to. Imagine this masculine is viewing the feminine as the king of pentacles, and they're showing up as the eight of pentacles in their desires. And you can see Chandler is walking up the swords with his briefcase. Like I said, this masculine is so concerned with climbing the ladder right now. They're concerned with moving away from anything that makes them feel this, makes them feel confused, makes them feel like they can't move or they can't do anything. Otherwise they're going to get, you know, their head cut off in the swords. The six of swords is an energy of healing, moving away from any sort of toxic connections. So let's get one more card and see what the overall challenge is here. What's the challenge? The hanged man. So this card could obviously mean a few different things, right? We know that the challenge could be that your masculine needs to see things from a new angle. They still need to go through a period of enlightenment. Um, but as Steve's Love Tarot pointed out in a reading that I just listened to recently, this card could also indicate spying. So ultimately your masculine's challenge is that they've, they've laid back for so long, they've been an observer for so long, and they've watched your growth feminine 
They've watched you rise into your full potential and now their ego is hurt. Now they feel like they have to set the record straight and they have to move their way into a, into a state of independence, okay? So you can see here the smirk on Chandler's face and you know Chandler's a great example, right? Chandler avoided relationships. He was so scared of commitment and and he just, you know, found any excuse to to diss on a woman or not move things forward. I mean, look how many times he cycled back with Janice, okay? But at the end of the day, Chandler ended up with his best friend, Monica. So there's something to be said there as well. Like the masculine knows deep down somewhere within him, whether he's ever acknowledged it or not, that you are their best friend. You are the one that they're supposed to be with. But because they've stayed in the back seat for so long, watching you and waiting feminine, they now have catching up to do, okay? They now are going to be pushed into a state of enlightenment. And this isn't the hermit, y'all. This is the hanged man. So this is the point when spirit takes you by the ankles and hangs you up by the tree. All the change in your pockets are falling out to the ground, okay? So this could also be um, a period of revelation for the masculine in that that they're not worth as much as they thought they were in the physical, okay? And I'm not trying to say that to sound like a diss, but we talk about how the masculine, all they care about is the physical things. All they care about is, is you know, their, their finances or, or their status or whatever, right? But with the pockets being turned upside down, the universe is saying, none of this matters. None of this matters. And they're forcing the masculine to see that, all right? And now look at that. As I say that, the card right underneath is the five of pentacles. We got Joey with the sign that says, will act for pennies. So clearly the divine masculine is struggling. Okay, struggling. This could be just their mentality, their lack mentality, worrying that they're not enough or, or that they don't have enough or that they'll never be enough. Or this could actually be your masculine getting a divorce, separating from someone, or again, just feeling that energy of being left out in the cold, all right? Especially if they're seeing you, feminine, rising up in your potential. Imagine how painful that must be, watching you rise above and them being stuck in the same old 3D distorted energy, okay? It's not going to be fun for them. So... And yeah, it's because, look at that, the world in the reverse. The reason that they're in that energy is because they refuse to learn the lessons. They refuse to close out these karmic cycles. So ultimately, I think that the masculine is getting a rude awakening during this energy of the lunar eclipse. Um, and uh, I'm going to just pull a couple more cards here. And before I do that, look at that. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. This is literally the exact opposite of what they are trying to manifest, which is reunion. Okay? It's because they're stuck in situations that are not meant to be. The Ten of Cups in the reverse to me is like, it's like that... <sighs> It's like that staying for the kids energy or like just staying because you know that that's what you're supposed to do, right? Or that's what society tells you to do. It's not because you're truly happy or because you're fulfilled or, or you found the partner of your dreams. It's usually because of obligation and behind the feeling of obligation is the root feeling of guilt. Okay. So very interesting energy. Ten of wands under that signifying a burden needing to be let go of. And the four of cups is the outcome here. So Four of Cups being bored, unsatisfied, really um, kind of disgusted with your present situation and looking up to the sky at that cup that the universe tried to offer you and saying, hmm, I see the silver lining behind all of this now, right? I understand now that that was actually my opportunity to be happy, to have real love, but instead the masculine is going to just be basically feeling sorry for themselves, okay? I really don't know any other way to, to describe that. So let's go ahead and yeah, it's because of the offer that never came in, all right? It's because of the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This masculine decided instead of investing in the connection, instead of taking this opportunity to have a, a, a real life and beginning with the feminine, they decided to keep that coin for themselves. And instead of investing in themselves, they ended up just letting it collect lint 
at the bottom of their pockets and now the universe is shaking them down, okay? So let's get some clarity here. What else do we need to see in regards to the masculine's external situation? Yeah, the Empress in the reverse. This popped up in the previous reading that I did. This is a distorted feminine energy. This can go so many different ways. This could be a mother, a sister, a friend, a coworker, a boss, a, a, a wife, a girlfriend, anything. Distorted feminine energy is popping up because that's what this masculine is experiencing right now, okay? This is the energy of someone who doesn't really truly care about anyone but themselves. This is the opposite energy of self-love and self-care being the queen of all queens. This is someone who is out for themselves, okay? Could be someone manipulative, again, representing sort of a karmic uh, cycle or energy. And we have the tower in the reverse. So yeah, you know, your masculine um, has definitely had some tower moments within this relationship and as a matter of fact the tower in the reverse kind of tells me the same thing that we saw with the world in the reverse it's like no matter how many times lightning struck that tower and 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 crumbled it to the ground the masculine continued to try to hold on to the rubble and make something of something that wasn't even supposed to be standing in the first place okay trying so hard to please and make work this energy with the reversed empress that the tower just keeps falling and falling and falling and falling trying to rebuild from the rubble it's not feasible y'all it's not and that's exactly what the masculine is starting to realize and you know what y'all as I was shuffling oh man I put it back into the deck it was the ace of pentacles in the reverse again and I know I just flashed the justice card in the reverse the high priestess so I think some of y'all already intuitively know like I said there has been an injustice here and look at that y'all the ace of pentacles came out again this is about the investment that was never made, okay? It's like this masculine, imagine, it's like the feeling of putting your quarter into one of those gumball machines and then like nothing comes out, but it eats your quarter. It's like that. <laughs> the masculine put their, put their ace of pentacles in with the distorted feminine energy, okay? And that is why the tower keeps falling and falling and falling over and over and over again. No matter how hard they try to keep the relationship together, it's just going to continue to be of that energy. Can I get my card off? The there we go. So yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. It's all about the physical. So the masculine definitely has some sort of a long-term situation going on here that involves finances, um, could be surrounding family, legacy, all those sort of things. But with the seven of pentacles and the sun in this image, it just tells me that the masculine has planted the seeds for this future that they've been trying to build, but they're waiting for the payout. They're waiting to finally have everything that they've wanted. Meanwhile, they're being stuck in this cycle of having to be patient, waiting for the harvest. Well, when you continue to water dead plants, when you continue <laughs> to try to build a tower out of ashes, when you continue to invest in the wrong partnerships, you're always going to be in a waiting game. You're always going to be looking out into the universe and wondering, when is it going to be my turn? When am I going to have the things that I've wanted? Why isn't what I've, I've been working for manifesting for me? Because they keep doing the same dumb shit. They keep cycling back to these karmic partners for various reasons, fear, guilt, whatever. And because of that, their crops, symbolically are not growing. They are stuck in limbo, okay? So yeah, maybe this person might have it all in the physical. They might have all the wealth in the world. They might have a big ass mansion and a pool and a sauna and a long ass driveway and a fucking 10 bedroom house. Like who cares? None of that matters if it's the 10 of cups in the reverse. None of that matters if you're with a partner who is not healthy for you. Someone who isn't a distorted energy. Let's get one more shuffle. Oh, I shuffled upside down. Of course, I got a glimpse of the three of swords. Whoop. Oh my God. Okay. Judgment and the moon. Yeah. 
so yeah, that's exactly what's happening right now. It's judgment day. These faded events that are happening based on the eclipse, um, this energy of the moon, secrets being revealed, things coming to light, especially re revolving around deeper feelings that have been hidden. Judgment day is coming around. So your masculine is getting this horn, not just tooted up there behind. Spirit's shoving the whole horn up there at this point because that's what needs to happen for them to really truly get a grasp on the truth. Okay, so this masculine's likely actions moving forward. I said, don't be surprised if they reach out to you. This king of swords and ace of swords could represent your person finally receiving divine clarity about their situation, how they've been lying to themselves, how they cut off the wrong one. Okay, so we've got judgment coming in for the masculine cards falling all over the place. I love how we also have the six of cups and the seven of swords in the reverse. So yeah, masculine's aware this is a very deep soul connection. We have the olive branch on that card as well. Seven of swords in reverse popping up a second time. They know they've been lying to themselves. They've been lying to you. They've just been a lying ass liar basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into some relationship affirmators and then we'll get some messages and musical messages to end the reading. So what is the overall advice from Spirit here? Initiative. <laughs> Don't we just wish that the masculines would take it already? So step right up. You're being awarded a boost of initiative. This potent potion will give you the gusto you need to move your life in a previously unexplored direction. If you're in a relationship, then it's time to take initiative and make some interesting plans for you and your partner. If you're not in one, it's time to reach out to old friends, go on an adventure, and potentially meet some new cohorts. Either way, this great journey is beginning with one small step or one short text or whatever. I'm not the boss of you. So... <clears throat> This card to me is kind of like that rising like the phoenix energy once again. If you're in a situation where your masculine keeps choosing someone else in the physical, spirit is urging you to take the initiative and meet some new people. Get yourself out there. Go on an adventure. Have some fucking fun, okay? Don't sit at home crying yourself to sleep over this person who is literally struggling to wiggle themselves out of a karmic situation. If you're lucky enough to be free right now from that, then do what you want to do, okay? Anything, anything that makes you happy. You just need to take the initiative. What else do we need to see for the overall advice? And appreciation. I appreciate the unique ways other people show their love rather than compare their ways with my ways. Then I appreciate myself for maturely putting up with people who just can't seem to show love the normal, obvious, universally accepted way. Good job, both of us. So this could be saying a couple of different things, right? Um, but the main one that I'm hearing is just because things aren't materializing the way that you want them to, or just because this person isn't showing you the love that you know you deserve in a normal way, which you would expect, doesn't mean that they don't, okay? It's still time for you to appreciate everything you've been through with this person that has gotten you to this point in your life, okay? Not everyone is going to show you love the same way that you show them love. And oftentimes this sort of a dynamic comes up in the twin flame journey because the twins are so very different from one another in the physical, okay? So spirit is telling you to learn how to appreciate this person even if they didn't even show you a single morsel of love because this person helped you in your spiritual journey, okay? So get one more card of advice one more card from this deck please what does spirit want us to see <laughs> y'all if it isn't a mailbox with a letter in it okay like I said some of you will be receiving communication from your twin flame over the next couple of weeks in regards to all of this energy but I open up and allow myself to receive love in all ways, from all directions. It may seem scary, but it's better than receiving audits, bed bugs, or hate mail. I receive love and it feels so good that I decide to receive it some more, and then some more, and maybe just a wee bit more. So 
open yourself up to receiving love in all different ways from the universe, okay? And trust me, that energy will multiply when you start showing that love to yourself, okay? And I know I said only one more, but this card on the bottom makes me really want to read it. So we have solidarity. I respect the power of solidarity and look for opportunities to unleash it. When a loved one has to do something tough, I'll heed their often silent but sometimes loud and whiny call and participate in the toughness with them. Everything is easier when a partner, cohort, sidekick joins you. The only thing that's not easier is feeling resentment, which I suppose is the overall point. So instead of being resentful towards your masculine at this time, join them in this energy of solidarity. If they're being silent, join them. If they are ignoring you, join them, okay? It's time for you to support your masculine in the way that they're showing you their support, if you know what I'm trying to say, okay? It's time for you to match this person's energy and stand with them in the phase that they're in now and be accepting of the fact that this is a part of your journey that they have to do alone, okay? And you also. So very interesting. Let's get some messages from the 5D and see what they want to say. I'm so ready to take things to the next level. I want to be with you and only you. We also have, I've got to be honest, whenever I think of you as someone else, I can't help but get jealous. And unfortunately, that is going to be the reality, you guys. If y'all are in this King of Pentacles energy, then you're definitely going to find someone else. You will find someone who is going to see your worth and who will also be willing to act on it. Okay, and that is what scares them because they know that they made their choice and now they have no choice but to wait and see. Okay, what else? I know I messed things up, but I would go to the ends of the earth to get you to trust me again. So like I said earlier, this masculine is afraid that you will never trust them again based on how they treated you. You have always been, wait a minute, you have been and always will be mine in every lifetime. So this is just a reminder that they know that you are spiritually connected from lifetimes past. And they know that this connection is real. All right. I should have fought for us, but I was afraid and I ran. I want to make things right. So yeah, we're definitely dealing with a runner in this reading. Um, you know, talking about wanting to reunite, trying to figure out how to make things happen. I can picture us having children together. I know we would have a happy family life. And that is another reason why that Ten of Cups came up in the reverse. Because that's exactly what the masculine wants. They want to reunite with their divine feminine. They want to have a happy, fulfilling life with a family and children. Okay? So what else do we need to see? Let's get a couple more shuffles here. Because of you, I believe in love again. No one has ever loved me the way that you do. So they know, they know what's up y'all, okay? They know that there's no one like you. They know they will never experience a love like this. We also have, I try to distract myself and focus on other things, but my mind always drifts back to you. So definitely thinking about you 24 seven. Karmic partnerships always feel so fake and forced. With you, I can be my authentic self. It just feels right. I'm working hard to release old karmic debts. It's not an easy process, but I can't move forward until I clear things up. So again, if you're witnessing your divine masculine in the physical, um, in these karmic partnerships, it's because they've, like I said, they've laid in their bed for so long. They've sat in the back seat for so long. They've watched and observed for so long. And they've been with these karmic cycles for so long that it's hard for them to figure out a way to break free. And I've been talking about you to my close friends. They say I need to go after what I want and I want you. So hopefully your person has some good friends that are really looking out for them um, and not fake ass people in their life that are giving them horrible advice. Because ultimately any friend who would tell you to stick around in a karmic situation that's unhealthy for you isn't a friend at all. Um, and that also brings me to the the whole like concept of narcissists and flying monkeys like 
narcs have their crew, y'all. They have people that <laughs> that are lingering just to influence and just to kind of get these masculines to trip up. I've had my fair share of unhealthy attachments, but with you, I've never felt more free. Yeah, so definitely understanding there's a difference between what they've experienced and what they have with you. Meeting you has challenged me to see life and love in a completely new way. I didn't know true love until I met you. Um, and then also we have, I'm starting to see where I've been living from a place of ego. I wanna change that. So hopefully, you know, these messages coming through are just com confirmation of, of the masculine going through that hanged man phase, okay? Really being forced to see the truth of the matter and understanding how they played a role in their own unhappiness, okay? So what do we need to see from the musical messages deck? We have Frozen by Madonna. You only see what your eyes want to see. How can life be what you want it to be? You're frozen when your heart's not open. So starting to realize that everything they've been trying to manifest is never going to materialize because they've left their heart closed and frozen to the feminine, okay? Again, understanding how their actions played a role in their own unhappiness. What else do we need to see from this deck? If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. Some people want diamond rings. Some just want everything. But everything means nothing if I ain't got you. So, again, <laughs> that whole karmic shakedown, okay? The universe turning them upside down and all of their belongings and pennies and, and pocket lint and trinkets and everything they've been keeping in their pockets for all this time is coming out and to the surface. They know now that none of that shit matters if you're not in their life, okay? Um, I feel like I had another one and I did. It's same old love. So I'm so sick of that same old love. That shit, it tears me up. I'm so sick of that same old love. My body's had enough, and that's from Selena Gomez. So they're definitely tired of being in this karmic situation. They're tired of the same old, same old, where the karmic partner manipulates them into believing that they actually care, and then their actions show them otherwise. They're tired of it. They're sick of the same old shit. They're wanting to shake things up. What else do we need to see? In my life, but of all these friends and lovers, there is no one that compares with you. And that's by the Beatles. Um, and, you know, that could also be speaking to that Three of Cups energy. Like, like I said, they know they can trust you. They see a true friend in you. Um, and it's not just about sexual or sensual energy. This is about love. All right. No one like you. There are really no words strong enough to describe all my longing for love. I don't want my feelings restrained. So that is by the Scorpions. And, um, you know, this song is basically saying, like, I can't wait for the nights with you. I, I just want to be loved by you. And it doesn't matter what this masculine is going through in the physical. That's, that's the one thing that is consistent is you feminine okay no matter how hard they try to keep rebuilding that ash tower or any of those circumstances that i listed in the reading the one consistent thing that remains is you feminine there is no one like you okay so let's get one more shuffle and then we'll end the reading baby come back by player all day long wearing a mask of false bravado yep the rabbit suit, y'all, the bunny suit, trying to keep up a smile that hides a tear. But as the sun goes down, I got that empty feeling again. How I wish to God that you were here. Baby, come back. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this reading is very consistent all the way through. Um, and then look at that at the bottom of the deck, eternal flame. Close your eyes. Give me your hand. Do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you feel the same? Am I only dreaming or is this burning an eternal flame? So they're feeling the burn, y'all. <laughs> they're feeling the burn. They're probably questioning themselves left and right, asking the universe, asking God, what does this mean? Why do I have these feelings? Why am I still feeling this whole connection? 
and hopefully this blood moon lunar eclipse is giving them the answers that they are seeking okay so like i said if you are a spicy subscriber stay tuned for an additional extended message and i hope that you guys resonated with this reading i know it was kind of long but um anyways i love you guys i hope you're doing well out there and i will talk to you again soon bye